Praveen Khanna is back with one more uh, task connectivity for academic IELTS. As you can see, it is a horizontal bar graph. And um, so we will be working on this bar graph. And before moving further, if you have not subscribed my channel, you can subscribe my channel by pressing bell icon because I keep making videos related to IELTS to help you guys succeed in IELTS and score better. Okay, so let us start. So uh, let us first of all understand and let us note, go through the statement given to us and focus on the illustration. So as it is a horizontal bar graph and is having actually two presentations on your left is the percentage of the total world oil resources means we can talk about we can say global petroleum deposits or uh, we can say uh, petroleum or oil stocks petroleum assets okay so that is in percentage and then further we are having the percentage of total world annual yearly consumption so again it is total world it is global it is worldwide consumption usage or withdrawal or use which is annual uh, which is uh, consumed an annually uh, yearly which is consumed per year or which is uh, per annum or annual consumption and uh, so all areas of world are given which are having the consumption as well as the stocks in percentage okay that is the understanding now let us go through the statement the chart below the charts below show the proportions of the world's oil resources held in different areas together with the proportions consumed annually in the same area fine so summarize uh, the information by selecting and reporting the main features and made comparisons where relevant okay fine so uh, now let us also understand one more thing that the maximum oil deposits are in Middle East, which are 56.52%, which shows that uh, more than any other place, more than all places together, more than other stocks together. So these stocks are more fine. So more than half of the world global stocks are in Middle East, we can see. Okay, further the next country having the more number of stocks is Canada which is way behind having only 15.84% means approximately 15% then Central Asia Central and South America 8.12% means means then we can say there are min, uh, minute proportions of stocks in different at different places and uh, on the other hand if we have glance on total world annual consumption than areas like Asia, United States, Western Europe are leading. Okay. And then further, uh, we can say Middle East is not having that much consumption. So means uh, definitely we can say that it is exporting nation. So biggest supplier of oil, global supplier of oil. Similarly, we can say about central and South America means is almost sufficient, self-sufficient. Eastern Europe, almost self-sufficient, we can say. Because uh, the demand is equal to the, uh, the supply or we can say the stock they have. Okay, whereas for Asia, for United States, for Western Europe, uh, their demand is more. Means they are actually chief consumers of oil. Whereas on your left hand, if we talk about Middle East, Canada they are prime suppliers okay so that way that's how we will be using uh, the terminology fine so now let us introduce the task so what we can say the horizontal bar graphs reveal the uh, percentage of global petroleum stocks possess possessed by areas along with their proportional 
विड्रावल इन द सेम एरियाज और एनुअल प्रपोर्शनल विड्रावल्स ओके सो सो नाउ द इंट्रोडक्शन इज ओवर एंड वी आर टू एक्सप्लेन दिस इन प्रेजेंट इन डेफिनेट नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट सो इट इज क्रिस्टल क्लियर एट फर्स्ट ग्लैंस दैट मिडल ईस्ट इज द चीफ सप्लायर ऑफ पेट्रोलियम इज द चीफ ग्लोबल सप्लायर having more than half of the total world stocks okay then further let's have canada so canada is the second supplier with the stock of approximately 15% okay further the countries like central and south america eastern europe and africa have the stock of approximately 8% 6.5% and 6.5% each and uh, then big regions like asia united states western europe australia and others have the minute proportions ranging from 2.89% to 1% okay in serial order okay now let's change the paragraph probing further to the uh, global users of petroleum here the con big continents like asia united states stand first and second with the proportional annual consumption of 26.21% and 25.48% okay the third place is of western europe where the yearly usage of petroleum is 19.24% of the global global capacity okay then further areas like middle east central south america eastern europe have have the usage of approximately 6 to 6.5% each and remaining areas like canada Africa Australia New Zealand and other nations have are comparably low in the consumption so finally it can be concluded that finally it can be concluded that the middle east is the main supplier main global supplier okay or we can say it can be it to wind up middle east is numero uno in petroleum in global petroleum supply along with canada whereas asia united states and western europe are prime consuming petroleum consuming areas okay so we can have that thing okay that way we can write this task i hope you would appreciate okay god bless you all this is praveen khanna signing off that's all in this task